Private sector. Now that's where the real money is. This is what I'm talking about. These tracks. They're all wrong. The space in the depth just doesn't make any sense. Let's keep going. Tracks don't follow. It just doesn't add up. Looks like the tracks head this way. What in the hell? This is one of our security box. Someone sent this thing out to mimic the ash. Did they have anything of value? Stay close. Stay safe. You know how to handle yourself. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. Now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? No, I expect not. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over, see if I can find some more details. While I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here.
actually met a guy who finished the Red Mile. He lost an eye in the process, but he did walk away with pomegranate. And I mean, you got two eyes, right? gun holstered during your stay. Be good in my book. No idea what we do to keep them safe. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? He's... <clears throat> He's alright, isn't he? Nothing, uh, bad happened out there. getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. It won't matter. I really screwed this up. You could at least be thankful that leniency is being offered. are sometimes spotted by the farms. That's why we don't have robots outside. Oh! Need a moment to walk that off? The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? sabotaging equipment whole world's going crazy well i'm out to go deal with this thanks for helping out i'll kick some credits your way may not be much not made of money around here you might want to give miss alpin some time to get clean data might be a research well it might prove useful to report
We need to be smarter, better in the way we handle the Ashta. Hey, how have you been? Staying out of trouble? Well, whatever gets you through the day, I've had more than my fill of it for this lifetime. Things here have been... well, they're better. The Isis thought a bit between me and David. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kind of, I don't know, pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. I have recognized that Davis has an emotional reaction to my presence. We're on speaking terms, but he still gets agitated. I don't want to make things worse. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. We should be on our guard if we venture outside the city. We are the are quite formidable. I can't believe Bailey did such a bonehead movie. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after? Mm-hmm. All broken up about it, I'm sure. So what can I do for you? I don't know whether I should be reassured that someone cares or creeped out that someone's watching me that closely. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people would pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. I can't rest if something out there still ain't right. By now you ought to appreciate at least that much. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in a fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I give you a chance to gear up if you need it. And, uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. All right. You know, Keone showed me her data. She's a clever kid. She's got a lot of things figured out. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. She had a couple sets of data that she thought were... But seems to me that might not be... Bigger... Faster, Ashta sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. But, I tell you, I'm hoping she's right and it's just a glitch. And, uh, 
No need to tell her I said that. What he wanted going to her head. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. Warners just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one-time miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. Claimed he seen an asteroid there's a house out there. The older guys all say he was delirious. Well, I would do with anything and just listen to him. Now, though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss in the East. Hey, be careful not to point that at me. Maybe I should have come out here a long time ago. No matter what happens, take it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? Come, meet your death. I didn't think we were going to make it through that. If you hadn't been with me, no way I'd be standing right now. We were here specifically to ensure you remain standing. I mean, it does, and it doesn't, you know? We got out alive this one time. That's good. But this ain't going to be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is going to need everybody. So, I'm going to swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. Oh, don't worry about me. Thanks again for saving my ass. My pleasure. was right? My data was accurate? I can't believe I second-guessed it. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake, that I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? Yeah, you're right. If anything, this has proven I should trust my instincts. I need to get to work on this immediately. But while I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. I thought it was funny. <sighs> now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you.
Ever run into spacers? Scumbags and scavengers. They're like vultures. Surprisingly well fortified. The early settlers here were quite practical. I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, no?